All right. All right, we're getting in visuals of uh, the cabinet meet, which is currently underway. The prime minister chairing it. He just left here from the parliament a short while ago and right now has reached and chairing uh, that meeting. These visuals filtering in. Uh, it would be interesting to note uh, as the prime minister meets his cabinet on what's up for consideration. What can we expect uh, in terms of uh, discussion there? Uh, one big uh, uh, point which is coming out right now and seeming to suggest is the women reservation bill. Uh, uh, will, is that what is being considered? In what form is it being considered? I want to cut across back to my colleague Polumi Saha who's joining us for more on the cabinet meeting as it takes place. Uh, uh, Polumi, visual streaming in of the cabinet meeting being chaired by the Prime Minister. Polumi, can you hear me? All right, we seem to we seem to have uh, lost our connection with Polmi, but I'm going to uh, I'm going to try and ask uh, our other reporters to join us right now, and uh, let's uh, quickly take you through these visuals that are coming in of the cabinet meeting, which is right now underway, uh, chaired by the prime minister. These visuals, there, what to expect out of it? What can we expect in terms of the cabinet meet? Well, that's the big question. Lots of speculation, anticipation through the day. Uh, and uh, it was called this afternoon is what we were given to understand. Before that, of course, the special session of parliament, which was on. And uh, now, seemingly, what we are given to understand, viewers, is that it will be the women reservation bill. There was so much speculation a while ago. And of course, what happens in the cabinet practically stays in the cabinet. So, um, you know, I doubt a word will even get out on what is being discussed or what's up for discussion. All right. But uh, what, you know, what we can say for sure, it's more than what is being designated in terms of parliamentary business over the course of the next five days, which has been made public. It's a little more than just those eight bills uh, that has been made public, especially with what the Prime Minister said, that a historic decision will be made. What is going to be that historic decision? Listen in to the Prime Minister. <laughs> इस पार्श्वभूमि में संसद का यह सत्र यह सही है कि सत्र छोटा है लेकिन समय के हिसाब से यह बहुत बड़ा है ऐतिहासिक निर्णयों का एक सत्र है ये सत्र की एक विशेषता ये तो है कि आप 75 साल की यात्रा हम नए मुकाम से आरंभ हो रही है जिस मुकाम पर 75 साल की यात्रा की वो अत्यंत प्रेरक पल और आप नए स्थान पर उस यात्रा को आगे बढ़ाते समय नए संकल्प नई ऊर्जा नया विश्वास और समय सीमा में 2047 में इस देश को डेवलप कंट्री बना करके रहना है all right, let's quickly get in a word from my colleague Polumi Saha, who's joining us, as well as Javed Ansari, political analyst, Manisha Priyam, political analyst, uh, uh, getting a word from them. But Polumi, visual streaming in right now of the Prime Minister chairing the Cabinet meet. That's right. Uh, you can see images of uh, that cabinet meeting, uh, which, uh, in fact, uh, uh, we've accessed. Basically, uh, the prime minister is chairing this very important cabinet meeting. Those are the words uh, from our sources. Um, it's not what I'm saying at the moment, Preeti. Uh, those pictures shared with us with the words important cabinet meeting underway. So expect that whatever decision uh, this cabinet is signing off as we speak upon right now is going to be something very historic, is what is 
aimed for this special session of parliament as we've been saying through this day since of course we learned from our sources that this cabinet meeting had been called for at 6.30 p.m. this evening. So this cabinet meeting will turn out to be very crucial because this cabinet uh, right now is meeting and signing off and approving a very important decision which will probably be brought to the special session of this parliament which has already commenced today on Wednesday when the government takes up its legislative agenda. All right, Polam, we appreciate you joining us. Let's quickly cut across to our guests uh, for a quick word. In Javed Ansari, what do you make? Uh, is it going to be the Women Reservation Bill, something that has found itself in the manifestos of a lot of parties, but no real party has shown much intent when it comes down to clearing it? So let me just correct you. This bill was introduced in 2009 under the UPA government, and that's the bill, if at all, the government musters up the courage to, in to take it forward. That's the bill that that's the bill that will be voted on. One, two, it's it's hazardous. At least I have learned in my experience, it's hazardous to second guess this prime minister and this government. The only thing predictable about Prime Minister Modi's government is its unpredictability. I uh, I don't have too many friends in the BJP and whatever little few of them that I have, I tried to contact them this evening and they in turn were asking me, "Ab bataiye kya hai?" The, and the organizer headline is perhaps a, a pointer. The organizer, as we all know, is the mouthpiece of the RSS, and it says, guess what? So is, everybody is, has been kept guessing, but the prime minister has laid the groundwork in his, in his remarks in the car park of parliament. It says, Ithihasik nirne hoga, historic decisions. So he's set the stage. The prime minister believes in dramatic decisions, whether it's demonetization, right. 370. So ex I won't be surprised if he comes up with something surprising. Well, it's a decision, hoga, historic decision. But Manisha Priyam, I want to bring you in. You know, it's a little surreal. Uh, you know, you've been uh, somebody who's uh, tracked the parliament proceedings for a while right now. But uh, a bill which is time or women reservation, the time seems to have come, if at all. You know, this is all conjecture. In 2023, when in 1947, the Constituent Assembly thought it unnecessary. And even after that, you know, the bill might have been introduced in 2009 by the Congress uh, and the UPA, but many allies of the UPA were not on board. Therefore, it never got cleared in the Lok Sabha. Yes, even now, some of the regional parties, such as the BJ BJD, seem to be talking about the need for the bill. And in fact, all regional parties now talk about women being a very important part of the electorate sans caste, the chuppa voters, the silent voters of Nitish Kumar, the Labharthis of Uttar Pradesh. So albeit women have become a vote bank, so to say, for most political parties, regional or national, the women's reservation bill has been a no-no. Now, I do feel that in this parliament, an announcement can be made whether it will be able to clear uh, you know, that uh, roadblock that appears because remember, as much as there is talk of women's equality and gender equality, there's also the reliance even of the BJP on strongmen and their politics, especially to the north of the Vindhyas in the state of Uttar Pradesh. We've seen how difficult it's been uh, for the party to take any action on somebody like Brij Bhushan Sharam Singh. So you cannot, on the one hand, have a real politic which is based on reliance on strongmen and on the other side, talk about a women's reservation bill. As far as Atihasik Nirna is concerned, I do believe that the Prime Minister will talk about a few things that he spoke about even from the Red Fort on 15th of August. Uh, perhaps a roadmap that could be about taking India to 2047 as a developed nation. Now what that could be, is that an economic and import? That I do not know, but I think that will be one. My second guess is that the Prime Minister openly spoke against the politics of Tushtikaran. He said development, yes, but Tushtikaran, no. Now what I, I can hazard a guess at best is that perhaps some form of, uh, you know, uh, the, the CA implementation, uh, granting citizenship rights, uh, you know, to Hindus who come from the neighboring countries, and, and that's purely a guess. So some amount of implementation of uh, the, the promises that the Prime Minister made from the ramparts of the Red Fort. Now what the exact dimensions uh, will be, it's only for the Prime Minister who can lay this bare in front of the Parliament. 
but this will be a clear messaging of his leadership style and his imprint on the BJP as its most important political leader. And I don't know exactly what is in store, but I do think it's 2047, India is a developed nation, and also against the politics of Tusti Karan right. to distinguish the BJP from other political parties. You know, I'm going to... Right. It's interesting because, Manisha Prem, you're coming up with what could be the probabilities. What we seem to suggest right now, uh, you know, is... In all probabilities, it could be the Women Reservation Bill, but no, we don't want to, uh, you know, know uh, uh, say anything for sure because this is all conjecture. But uh, what we're given to understand that it points towards the Women Reservation.